and I'm showing you how to empty this ostomy pouch. So you take the clip, hold it with both hands, you're sitting down. You pull the clip open and just let that drop and you can help it by doing this. That'll get everything out. And then you take either a wad of toilet paper or in this case Kleenex and you s scrape off the ends, roll it up into a nice little roll <laughs> and stick it in there and just move it around until you have everything clean. You might need to do this with another roll because sometimes it's a little more dirty. Then you put on the clip and you're good to go. Well, after you wash your hands. Now, I'll show you. Okay, sometimes it fills up with gas, so you can just open the top of here a little bit, keep a hold of the bottom, but you'll just open it kind of like Tupperware, and then you snap it closed, and you're good to go again. This is how you take an ostomy pouch off. This particular type of ostomy pouch. You take a washcloth. I use a diaper. We'll just pretend this is a diaper. Put lukewarm water on it. You don't want it too hot. Just rub it over the wafer. That's what I'm rubbing it over right now called a wafer. So, you get that wet, and then it's easier to come off, to take off. You just lift and rub against it with the cloth until you get all the way around. This really saves your skin. If you just try and rip it off, it's it could be really uncomfortable and your skin will probably suffer for it which is never fun it's called suffering for a reason guys okay once you have all of this done I usually have to re-wet the rag or diaper so you get a hold of the rest of the thing not your stoma though and you just okay there goes my play-doh stoma <laughs> you won't have green stuff on there green play-doh on there i promise but there will be some feces definitely just put it in your handy little trash bag that comes with every hollister bag pouch i call them pouches then you take off the clip because you want to save those. Clips are your saving grace. Trust me. <laughs> Always have an extra with you. You can even have them in your pocket. Now, I'm closing this right now because, well, I'm just showing you how to <laughs> dispose of it. You just tie it up in the trash bag, and then you take it out to your trash can because you don't really want this sitting in your house for a long period of, period of time. Just rub, clean around the stoma. Don't worry, you ha kind of have to touch around it. Then take a skin barrier wipe. You can take a skin barrier wipe, I like to. Really helps your skin. <laughs> you just open it, it's kind of, it kind of has the feel of an alcohol wipe, but don't be scared because it, to my knowledge, doesn't have any alcohol in it and will not sting. It actually feels really nice. So you clean, clean around there. They also help as adhesive removers. I use it. You can kind of dab it to make sure it's dry before you put your other pouch on. There's my nice green phytostoma. Stomas aren't green, I promise. They're kind of red like your gums. So you hold something under it because, well, <laughs> it'll be like a volcano. 
probably. Unless you haven't eaten in a while. You have your garbage bag ready, and then here's your measuring guide. All the nice little measures and big measures. This is one of the four on my set. One of the four groups of templates on my set. Put it over your stoma. Your stoma won't fall. Like my nice green one here. <laughs> Make sure that it's not really too wide around the stoma, like that you don't have a lot of space in between the edges of the circle and the stoma. But you don't want it too tight either. You'll get a feel for it and your nurses will show you. This is the flange or wafer. It'll go right on the stoma along with the skin barrier ring. You're gonna cut after you measure. You're gonna use the template and since this one is about one inch in diameter it's pretty easy because they already have one inch measured out here. But you can always double check and just draw within this stencil. So I'm just gonna cut this out. You wanna use nice scissors like this that have a pointed end and a more rounded curved end because you don't want to puncture this part of the wafer otherwise you'll have leakage and trust me that is not fun and does not smell good so be careful and use the rounded edge on the bottom like so you don't want to cut outside the line, you want to cut kind of right inside or on the line. And don't worry if you mess up because you can use another wafer because, well, the first time I cut it, I cut it so terribly. And you just dispose of that little piece. And voila! It'll go on facing out. First, I'll put the scissors down so I don't stab myself in the eye. I have more problems. Okay, this is going to have a skin barrier ring. Woo! That you usually warm up just to make it more sticky. It's already pretty sticky, but so it'll stick better to your skin and to the flange or wafer gonna go right on there pretty much in line with what you cut out but a little bit but sticking in a little bit like it'll be the hole will be a little bit smaller than what you cut always wear gloves except this part <laughs> actually sometimes I don't wear gloves when putting on this ring and then I just put on a different pair of gloves because it'll stick like crazy Pull off the backing. That's all adhesive there. It won't kill you. I hope. <laughs> Set that right on there. And press it down. It's sticking to my gloves. But I want to make sure that it's not too small of an opening just kind of mold it. They're pretty easy to mold. Make sure it's stuck on there really well because that will protect your skin, hence the name Skin Barrier, and keep all liquid, most liquid, from off of your skin and out of the air. You still want to have that cloth there underneath your stoma. Set it on like that. Looks like a green tomato. Mine looks like a little red tomato that shoots up poo. Just slap it on there carefully. <laughs> Gently slap it on there. Peel off the other parts of backing that are just, well, 
more side backing. Smooth it out. You want to make sure it's firmly on your skin. So again, you don't, so you don't have leakage. Leakage is not fun, guys. But if you do this correctly, you won't have to worry about that. So as long as you change it often enough. Make sure that's on really well. And keep that cloth down under there. This is the pouch. A pouch. This is one that I really like. It's a smaller one than I started out with. I think it's seven or nine inches long. Your stomo go in there and fill, fill up with your stuff. And it'll be clamped there with the nice little clip you saw earlier, which is my favorite type of clip. All right, see, it's kind of like Tupperware. I actually really like Tupper Tupperware. Take the clip. I like to do this beforehand in case I have more runny stool. Look at the alligator clip. Look at it. Okay. Um, because I don't want it to drain off on the stuff if I forget. It just snaps open and closed like this. It's pretty simple and pretty awesome. Then so you just hold it and whip that thing on. Make sure there's kind of an equal distance from each side um, so that you don't have leakage, spillage, because that's, what is it? Not fun, not cool. Just snap it closed. If you did it right, you can fold that part under the cloth. Okay. Just snap it on like Tupperware. It'll be kind of difficult to line it up correctly for your personal taste. I shouldn't say taste. Preference. For your preference. I have mine facing right into the left because my stone was on the right side. And it's easier to drain that way. You don't want it facing the opposite way. Because then it's really hard to drain. So there. 